Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone. Le Dr. So, yeah. So, now it seems we're on a secondary story path. And now we're following Deku's... Or, not Deku, uh, Senku. <laughs> Deku. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, my brain. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in my hero mode because today we were supposed to record with Micah, but due to coronavirus and uh, panic and fear and all that, uh, I was vetoed on it. So, not much I can do about that. So, I texted Micah and Micah said it'd be okay because they pushed back uh, his start time for uh, his job. So, we'll probably be able to catch up more and more before it, uh, <sighs> before, uh, you know, he does start his job. Hopefully, fingers crossed, you know. But, um, yeah. <coughs> In our spare time, what we're doing is we're doing Dr. Stone instead. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is, honestly, I'm interested to see how in the hell Senku's dad is going to be able to, uh, fix this in some way. I just want to know what caused it, what happened. Me too. Me too. I'm dying. I'm just like... It's gonna be like some science lab that's been up north the whole time. Yeah. Like some... It was heart. It was the (laughs) H-A-A-R-P. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it was. Turned the whole damn world to stone. Hmm. Ugh. God. So, yeah, above all, this is, uh, this is pretty much uh, where we are, and we're not going to take too long with the intros and outros on this because, you know, we're all, we're all like a little stir-crazy because of having to be on lockdown in this house, pretty much. Plus, your voice still sounds a little weak from being yeah. sick, too. So. Well, I'm still, I'm still recovering. I'm not 100% over it, but for the most part, I am. So, anyway, let's just dive into this episode of Dr. Stone and uh, let's get to it. There should be a delay between the average timestamps of the last posts on social media like Twitter or Instagram. Find those wow, and calculate drops. backwards. And we- so, I'm gonna guess told that didn't what? work out. Huh? I, I kind of like didn't, I kind of miss it. What did he say? Hmm? About what? About how to uh, track no, you said Sinku told him taught him that years oh, ago. Oh yeah, he taught him how to you know you track things by their mentioning on social media. For instance, it's like it's like determining the point of where an earthquake yeah, yeah. began, seismic activity, but instead it's social media activity. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. The good news is we've landed on Earth and we aren't petrified. The bad news is to guns and start training everybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> turn everybody into real warriors. Of course. I mean, advances in science and everything, I mean, he's got all the knowledge for it. And plus, now he's got all the inspiration because of all the work that his dad put into... They're on a real safe place, too. They're on an island. <coughs> he's got one like, way to get across, and it's that bridge. Yeah. And He's got entire chemistry sets and stuff. Like, <laughs> it's not just gunpowder he can make. He can make all kinds of nasty shit to use oh, against yeah. him if he wants to. Absolutely. Fucking mustard gas, like oh shit. napalm. <laughs> that'd be that'd be too much of it. Holy yep. shit! Man, I'm sure he wouldn't go that heinous with it, but there's a lot of shit you could make with chemistry stuff <coughs> that would be highly effective chemical weapons. Oh yeah, of course. And also, I feel like guns it, are probably the more likely route they're gonna go with the show, though, because the show is not that dark. Yeah, <laughs> I would say guns or uh, like guns, catapults, or, cannons. <clears throat> um, or think about this. Think about this. Think about um, what. If, what if? Uh, what if? Not only do they train everyone, like they they uh, train everyone to use guns. They also train everyone, like insert. Like I don't know if actually no. Now I think about it, Sinku wouldn't have any knowledge of fighting styles or anything like that, so he wouldn't be able to shit. Well, I was thinking maybe Sinku could teach that, like. Like teach them how boxing works and all that, or like self defense, close up stuff. But yeah. it's a possibility of going and trying to find a new uh, person to revive. Well, the thing is, their source for reviving people is has a monopoly on it, unless he can find another cave with bats. Yeah. Which, if he does, I mean that that would that would give him a new way to revive people. You know, they're going to have to build an army and then go there and then take that and then try to spread more of it. Well, I, I'm just worried that 
I don't know how many people Sukasa's revived. That's the big question. How many has he revived? Has he revived like 25, 50, 100? I don't know him saying he's bringing an army with him and plus quite a few. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just don't know how he's getting everybody to be on his side. Well, yeah, I mean, they would have the initial, like, uh, you know, thank you of, uh, you know, thank you for reviving me. I'll do anything you ask. I guess it's just the whole, like, thanks for reviving me. Cool, now here's what we're going to do. And it's like, oh, I don't agree with that. Oh, then I'll kill you. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. It's kind of big scary. And also, man, so. Sukasa, who's to say that there isn't someone out there more tenacious than him? Maybe not as physically talented, but someone who is tenacious and has aspirations to take over Sukasa's Sukasa's role, because mm-hmm. I think that would be <clears throat> that'd be a pretty heavy, uh, pretty heavy uh, uh, to handle in that circumstance. But yeah, I, I I I'm sad that. All the people we got to know over the last couple episodes just passed away that quickly. I mean... Yeah. Well, they only lasted for about three episodes. But, yeah, but... But it's a huge part of the story that was that ties up a lot of loose ends, too. And it also grants more questions, too. So, Yeah. yeah like, I thought it yeah. was about to answer one question that it didn't end up answering, but apparently that gets answered at some point from well, what I've heard. The, uh, well, they said that the source seemed to come from somewhere in South America. That's what they were talking like. Yeah, that's true. That's the weird thing too, though. Is like I was like, oh, this is how they're going to explain a lot of the stuff that would have otherwise been a mystery, but then they didn't. So who's to say? It's kind of like it still feels like it's going to be very hard for them to actually figure out what the hell actually happens from three thousand years in the future. Well, I don't know. Eventually, I think they will to, figure it out. They'll have to get up to the point of intercontinental travel first. That way they can at least go to other sites and try to see where... Well, if for that, they'd have to invent, like, internal combustion engines and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, get compasses down so that they can navigate. The setup for the show is implying that eventually they will do all of that. And, I mean, the the most positive ending for this show is actually showing the advancement of them being back up in space eating ramen noodles by the end of it. And yeah. Like, yeah. Cool. They're like, yeah, goal achieved, basically. Yeah, and by the time Senku is like his dad's age, you know, when he went up into space, maybe Senku will have revived humanity enough to where it'll be possible for him to eat ramen in space again. Maybe. I don't know. Real ramen. Well, Senku's goal is always to go to space, so I feel like they won't end this series... If they can help it, like if something else, you know, out of control, like bad happens, you know, gets canceled at some point or whatever. But I don't feel like they would end this series without him making it to space or getting very fucking close before. Yeah. You know, cutting it off. Well, I guess we'll just have to see. But for right now, I think we're going to end the episode here. So uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And uh <coughs> Sorry. And I uh, guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Jacob. I'm Nick. And we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Peace out.